name is Israel, Israel Aminu, I'm from Lagos, Nigeria. I uh, have some background studies in uh, physics from uh, Lagos State University. I've uh, been around the data space for about uh, five years now and uh, with this company for like almost three years. Um, I like to build software, I like to um, you know, code and uh, try to make sure things work as expected. Um, from time to time I also like to Netflix a lot, I love watching Netflix. During some time I also take some vacations, uh, you know, touring the world and, and whatnot. So yeah, that's it about me. So for someone starting with uh, some background in physics, um, it's, you know, in school I met some couple of friends and um, we had some interest in computer programming and uh, software. So um, I was, you know, learning the basic stuff, Python, that was necessary to build some of these uh, frameworks. Then uh, after school, I started as a data scientist because I've always had some interest in data science. Then I started with uh, a company in Nigeria, um, SoftNexus, uh, for about uh, almost a year. Then uh, professionally, my data engineering career started when um, I moved into data to bots That was like my first uh, data engineering company. So um, we were basically consulting for uh, like clients and um, we were building like some data solutions along the way. Um, so that's really much it. That's really much how it's been um, over the years now. And that's how everything all started. For me, um, I think sharing knowledge is one way one can create um, opportunity for um, his or herself. While I was into the whole data space, basically, um, I've always loved um, writing articles and sharing knowledge on, on Medium. So um, that's how I wrote one article whereby I was, it was talking about deploying machine learning models and using Docker. And then a guy from um, data 2 bots reached out to me. Um, turns out that guy was actually the CEO of the company. So he reached out to me and was like, hey Israel, would, um, we saw you've written an article on this and would like to also implement this same thing where we, you know, where we currently work and stuff. I got into the company, helped them fix some of those issues and deploy the machine learning solution. And since then that has been history and I've been with the company for about uh, three years now and it's been a really amazing journey. <laughs> on a high level, um, it's very complex. Uh, and I'll drill it down to two major key areas. So one of them is understanding the business side of things. This is not where um, most technical part do comes in. This is where you try to understand uh, business use cases on how we want to retrieve data and store the data for end users. Also understanding and being proactive about um, how we intend to pull this data and you know talking with clients basically in this use case. And the second part is also the technical area. This is not just about writing code. This is about understanding the complexity of the project from a very high level, designing the architecture, trying to drill down into um, you know optimization trying to learn how our application can scale and this is not just about writing single Python code and basic ETL workflows uh, so that's more how it is working at data support for at least for a very long time now. it's about two years uh, but those two years were spent uh, in Nigeria working as a data engineering trainee and um, also working as a data engineer also in, in Nigeria. Then, uh, however, I've also been in the Netherlands for about uh, one year working as a data engineering consultant. <laughs> it all starts by uh, waking up in the morning, uh, then scrolling through emails and uh, checking current workflows that are currently running. Uh, to see if they are all successful or if anything broke in production basically. Then uh, next is going through daily stand-ups and meetings to know what's currently going on and current uh, things I need to work on. Then, then I have meetings discussing about architectures, meetings discussing about uh, current code and reviewing um, developers pull requests and also seeing if there are any other things I need to fix. Um, so that's how it is basically for my day-to-day -day processes. Uh, that's a very funny question actually. Uh, if I was not a data engineer, I think I would be a physics professor. Um, I think I've always loved science and I've always loved, um, you know, exploring life and nature itself. So I think I would want to go into academics and be a physics professor if I wasn't a data engineer. <laughs> I think it all starts with uh, dedication. 
and having the ownership mentality from the get-go um, because there are so many things we usually use to assess um, candidates who come into uh, the pipeline um, not just about writing code but how proactive are you when giving stuff to do how dedicated are you in you know making sure things get done are you sure that you can always um, deliver on your task or you know other things you know thinking outside the box too those things are also necessary as well um, some level of complexity those you can learn but um, you, just to make sure you have the right mindset when you join the pipeline yeah. <laughs>